Did you know today is Latina Entrepreneurs Day? Yeah. Entrepreneurship Day. October 13 was 13 was officially recognized one year ago today thanks to Latina Leadership Podcast. And joining me to talk about the big conference happening in just a few minutes is founder Angelica Casares. Good morning, Angelica. Good morning. Good to see you again. Uh, I, I, I've worked with this podcast before, so we know each other. <laughs> and before we talk, yeah, tell us about your background, how you got involved with Latina entrepreneurship. You can tell us about the podcast if you want. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. So the podcast is called Latina Entrepreneurship Podcast. We interview amazing Latinas around the nation, but it is our hometown here in Houston, Texas. And last year we did an inaugural uh, Latina Equal Pay. I'm sorry, Latina Leadership, Latina Entrepreneurship Day. We got a proclamation. I can't get it right. It's one of my pillars, uh, Latino Equal Pay, Latina Mental Health, Latina Wellness, and Latina Entrepreneurship, because we're the fastest growing segment in Texas to actually launch our own businesses. Um, and unfortunately, you know, sometimes they come with uh, trials and tribulations. And so mm -hmm. with the inaugural, I wanted to do a conference and I wanted to bring experts and great speakers to come and, and talk to the Latinas to hopefully, you know, some of these Latinas, we can see them on the shelves of Walmart or we'll see them owning like billionaire uh or millionaire mm -hmm. uh, industries or companies. I'm just, I'm excited for today, but um, thank you. Yeah, well, it's really amazing too, because so many of these women, they're role models to other people hoping to become entrepreneurs themselves. 100 Latinas are expected to join today's conference. And Helica, can you tell us what they'll learn about today? Today, they will learn about e-commerce. They're gonna learn about finances. They're going to learn about uh, tax is they're going to learn about networking. Networking is a big way, the way that we do a lot of the business, especially here in Texas. Um, how to how to market, how to scale, how to ask for loans, how to write a grant. There's a lot that I've compacted in one day that I hope that they're going to uh, walk away with like contacts to like the SBA because that's one of my partners or contacting with another entrepreneurship like a nonprofit or something because I, I brought everybody, the community together in one space because that's exactly what they need. So my hope is that we launch one of these Latinas into outer space and hopefully they can do amazing things with yes. what they're learning today. Yeah, you know, and I will compliment you. You have done a wonderful job of really putting your finger on where our culture has um, helped us to become successful Latinas and where it might be holding us back. And the more we can get, get together, talk about those things, the farther we can go. So if somebody didn't get a chance, they didn't know about the conference, they didn't get a chance to sign up, is it too late? How can they find out more? Absolutely not. It's never too late. So because we had a huge influx of Latinas who were very much interested. It was around the, the state of Texas. And the only way that I could offer um, to be able to host them was online. So there's the streaming that's going to happen. It's going to take place at 10 o'clock. We're going to um, launch it on Instagram and Facebook and LinkedIn, or you can actually find it on latinaleadershippodcast.com, all our social platforms. We're going to live stream everything. So it's it not just for Latinas or those who are entrepreneurs who are interested in these topics and conversations also. Yeah, and your social media platforms are wonderful. I follow them, so I suggest everybody do that even if you can't attend the conference. Thank you, thank you so much. And Helica, thank you so much for talking with us this morning. We appreciate it. Thank you.